Hello Spring Kids! I'm Elissa and I'm so glad to be here with you today. Have you ever wondered what heaven will be like? What we'll see there or do there or anything else about it? Well today is your day to get excited. Let's check it out! I wonder what's in the box! <laughs> just stick my hands in. I'm just gonna... If it's alive, I'm gonna be really scared. Hopefully it's not alive. <laughs> it feels... <laughs> it be, I know it feels wet to me. Cereal? It feels really weird. Um, like a fish egg. Oh my... I think it's fish eyeballs. <laughs> All those anyways. Wormies. It's Wormies. That feels so good. I knew it. I knew it. What are these called again? Orbies? Yeah. That's what I, that, I remember. At first, I was about to leave, run away. What's up, everybody? I'm Cody. And I'm Kelvin. Welcome to our lab, the, the wow, wow Lab. Hello to everyone watching our live video today. Here in the Wow Lab, we want to hear the things you wonder about and see if we can find some answers that make you say, wow. But have you ever wondered what it means to, you know, wonder? OK, then, check this out. Wonder. It's something we do every single day. We wonder what we're going to have for dinner or what that funny smell is coming from the refrigerator. Yeah. We wonder why we didn't get a speaking part in the school play, or why sometimes we can see the moon in the middle of the day. Sometimes I wonder how Miss Finkelstein's hair stands up so tall on its own. God created our brains to wonder about the things around us, because when we do, we'll be able to see how awesome and wonderful He is. When we searched for the definition of wonder, here's what we found. No, not Wonder Woman. Let's try searching for definition of wonder. Okay. That's better. Wonder, a feeling of surprise and admiration caused by something beautiful, unexpected, or unexplainable. That's what happens when we let our minds wonder about the cool and crazy things around us. We'll be surprised and say, wow, at how wonderful God is. Yeah, wonder makes us say, wow. And sometimes it's so awesome, you'll say it again, but backwards. Wow? Uh, let's move on. So I've got to know, what are some things you guys wonder about heaven? Is it full of chubby little angel babies who float around on clouds and play harps? <laughs> no way. That's something people made up a long time ago, and that's definitely not what the Bible says heaven is like. What are some things you guys are wondering about heaven? Let us know in the comments. Whoa, looks like you guys have a lot of questions about heaven. Are the streets actually made of gold? Will we walk through the pearly gates to get in? It sounds like some of you want to know what heaven looks like. And some of you guys want to know what we'll do in heaven. Like, will we eat? Will we sleep? Will we get to see our relatives and pets who have died? Will it get boring after a while? And Stella loves softball. I love your question that says, can anyone go to heaven? And how do we get there? Let's start with that one, Cody. Yes, anyone can go to heaven. In fact, God wants everyone to live with him forever there because it is the most perfect place ever. And Jesus is the one and only way to heaven. All we have to do is believe in him and follow him. That's as easy as A, B, C. A, admit that you've done wrong things. B, believe that Jesus took the punishment for the wrong things you do and that God brought him back to life. Then C, commit to following Jesus and letting him be the leader of your life forever. Everyone who follows Jesus goes straight to heaven to be with him when they die. Exactly. That answers Stella's question. And I think we can sum up all of the other questions by focusing on these two things. What does heaven look like? What will we do in heaven? I think you're right. And I've got the perfect experiment to show you all how awesome heaven is. We're going to head outside to get ready while you guys play this fun game. Get on your feet. It's time to play Stick Together. Watch to see what the dice land on. The first dice will tell you a number, and the second dice will tell you what you and your friends need to stick together. When the dice stops rolling, you start moving. Here we go. Six feet. 
find a group and put six feet together before the dice start rolling again. Two knees! Find a partner and put two knees together before the dice start rolling again. Three thumbs! Find a group and put three thumbs together. Good game, everyone! Go ahead and take a seat. I've got a question for you guys. Have any of you heard of elephant toothpaste? Yeah, I've heard of that and I've always wanted to give it a try. Please tell me, Cody, that that's the experiment we're doing today. It sure is. I've been studying this experiment for a little while and I'm ready to test it out but I have no idea if it'll work. So we're gonna see. We're working with some pretty dangerous chemicals. That's why I had you put on your gloves and safety glasses. Nice, I don't mind at all, because honestly, they complement my lab coat pretty well. But hey, to all our viewers trying this at home, be sure to have an adult with you. How can I start to help? You can start by squirting some of this everyday dish soap into this flask. You wanna put a couple drops of this food coloring down in there. Nice. Ooh. I'm going to give you some hydrogen peroxide. All right, if you could give that a little swirl. Oh yeah. Whoa. Perfect. Okay, this is sodium iodide. It's gonna act as our catalyst for this experiment. And a catalyst is something that speeds up reaction. And I'm really beginning to wonder how epic of a reaction we're about to see. You guys are gonna count down from three and I'm gonna pour this in. But when I do, we gotta get out of the way, okay? Okay, you guys ready to count down? Three, two, one. You can see why it's called elephant toothpaste. I think we've got enough to uh, brush a whole parade of elephants. It seems to be quite a mess, so while we clean this all up, you guys play this game. What's under the microscope? Nice job! That was really fun, but I gotta know, Cody, how does that awesome foamy explosion tell us anything about heaven? Not gonna tell you quite yet. First, check this out. Hey, Beaker. Yeah, Millie? Have you ever wondered what heaven's gonna be like? I just wish I could see it. Well, did you know that one guy in the Bible did get to see heaven? Wow, how did he do that? Did he fly there on a cloud or get zapped up like an alien spaceship? <laughs> no, Jesus showed him. The man's name was John, and when he was living on a deserted island, Jesus came to him in a dream and showed him what heaven was like. John saw a beautiful city that's bigger than any city we could ever imagine, and God used all kinds of amazing things to create it. Yeah, like, like gold for the streets and jewels for the walls, right? Yep, and running right down the middle of heaven is a crystal clear river. It's so clear that it looks like glass. You can probably see straight down to the bottom, huh? Probably. And on the sides of the river are tons of trees full of fruit that will never run out. Kind of like an all-you-can-eat buffet of fruity goodness. Sounds like we might get to eat in heaven. What else will we get to do there? Well, Jesus showed John that we will get to worship God alongside all of the angels and our family and friends who are there. And we'll be so excited about how great God is that we'll never get tired of worshiping him. It's even possible that we won't need to sleep anymore because our bodies will be perfect. I think that means we won't get tired. There won't even be a moon and a sun because God himself fills heaven with brilliant light. Wow, 
I won't need another flashlight, light bulb, or nightlight in my room ever again. Wait, will I even have a room? You sure will. When Jesus was a person here on earth, he told his friends that he was going back to heaven to prepare a place for them to live with him forever. Jesus said, there are many rooms in my father's house. I would not tell you this if it were not true. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. Then I will come back and take you to be with me. So we will get to live in heaven with Jesus? Who else will be there? All the people who have ever followed Jesus. What about the people who died before Jesus came to earth? Well, just like we look back at what Jesus did and believe in what he did for us, people in the Old Testament looked forward to Jesus coming and believed that God would keep his promise to send him. They just didn't know his name yet. So yes, people who lived on earth before Jesus did and believed that he was coming will be in heaven too. Wow, that's a lot of people. I hope I get to meet heroes like David and ask him what it was like to defeat the giant Goliath. Ooh, ooh, and I want to talk to Noah and ask him what it was like to be on a boat with so many animals. Speaking of animals, there will be some in heaven, right? Yes, the Bible tells us that there will be animals in heaven, but it doesn't say what those animals will be. We can't know for sure if our pets will go to heaven, but God knows everything and he is perfect and good. So we can be sure he has a good plan for us and for our pets. And no matter what, when we get to heaven, we will be happy. Okay, so we've talked about all the things that will be in heaven, but is there anything that won't be in heaven? Oh yes, when Jesus showed John what heaven looked like, he also heard a voice saying that God will wipe away every tear from every eye. There will be no crying, no sickness, no pain, and no death. Everyone will be so happy because they are with God and he is with them. Heaven is so much fun to think about, especially knowing how creative and awesome God is. There's no way that heaven will be boring. Right. We may have a ton of questions about heaven, but we will just have to wait to know the answer. The cool part is that what we do know helps us to see how awesome heaven will be. I can wonder about heaven. Everybody take a seat. 
Today's Bible story helped us know a lot about what heaven is like. But just like we weren't 100% sure what kind of reaction we were gonna get with our experiment, we have no idea exactly how awesome heaven is gonna be. There's a lot of things about heaven that we just won't know until we get there. But one thing that's for sure is that it's awesome. Just like today's experiment, and that will last forever. Forever's a long time, Kelvin. And I think Fun Guy Forever had a good question when he asked if heaven was gonna get boring after a while. Let's have Professor Sai fill you in on that one. Professor Sai here to help you wonder why. Have you ever wondered why heaven lasts forever? That does seem like a long time. Well, after further research on the topic, here is what I found. One reason heaven is forever is because our bodies here on Earth are not forever. You see, the human body is like a tent that we live in here on Earth. If you've ever been camping, you know that tents are not meant to be lived in forever. The fibers wear down, causing leaks, and over time the zippers get rusty and break. Our bodies are the same way. They may be in good shape for a little while, but over time, things start to wear down and not work as well as they once did. They simply don't last forever. But that's okay, because when our time in our earthly body is over, God will give everyone who follows Jesus a new body that lasts forever in heaven. While forever is a long time to live somewhere, you can be sure that it will never be boring. Why, do you ask? Because God is not a boring God, and heaven is His house after all. Just look at the amazing things He has made. Like the giraffe, whose tongue is so long it can lick its entire face. And he makes stars so big, like Betelgeuse, that could fit 262 trillion Earths inside of it. Since our God is so creative, just imagine what he has prepared for us in heaven. Seriously, give it a try right now. Close your eyes and imagine how awesome heaven is going to be. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes. You may have imagined theme parks and never-ending soft-serve ice cream, or dance parties with all of your family and friends. But guess what? The Bible tells us that heaven is so great that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Wow, there's no doubt God has some awesome things for us in heaven. God is more wonderful than any one person could ever be. God's one awesome God. That's why Moses said, Lord, who among the gods is like you? Who is like you? You are majestic and holy. Your glory fills me with wonder. You do amazing things. Exodus 15, 11. I can wonder about heaven. There are so many things we all wonder about heaven, and it's even greater than we can imagine. But I think we found some good answers to all the questions we've had today. Most of them boil down to, can anyone go to heaven? And how do we get there? What does heaven look like? What will we do there? And what we found is that there are a lot of things that will be in heaven and some things that won't. And then there are countless things we don't know and won't know until we get there. I say we play a game to see if all of our viewers and the two of us can remember some of the things we discovered today. Walker point to the answer you think is correct. Here we go. Can anyone go to heaven? The correct answer is yes. Anyone can go to heaven by following Jesus. Will we eat in heaven? Yes. Will we ever feel sad in heaven? No! Will we see our pets in heaven? That's right! We don't know! Should we be afraid to go to heaven? No! We shouldn't be afraid! Is that because heaven will be awesome? Yes! Heaven will be more awesome than we can imagine! I really believe that heaven is more awesome than we can imagine, even though I still have so many questions about it. And the best thing to do when you have questions is to talk to God about them. Let's do that right now. Everybody, bow your heads, close your eyes, and pray with me. Hey God, wow, we are filled with wonder about how awesome your home in heaven is gonna be when we get to see it someday. But I'm still wondering some things about heaven. 
Like if my sister who died before I was born will be there? And will there be a beanbag chair in the room Jesus is making for me? Me and my friends have lots of questions, but will you help us to have faith and trust that you have awesome things planned for us? I know you do because you are wonderful and there is no one like you. We love you. Amen. All right, that's all for today. But if you got more questions, here's what you can do. Talk to God. Tell him what you're wondering about. You can even ask him to show you an answer. Read the Bible. It's full of amazing things that will blow your mind. You can even ask a grown-up what you're wondering and see what they can help you find. And of course, tune in next time to see what answers we discover. As always, keep wondering until you find out something that makes you say, Wow! See you next time, guys. Bye. I can wonder about heaven. Wow! Wow! Jesus wanted us to have a little glimpse into what it would be like, but he still gave us so much to wonder about. Let's pray that our imaginations would allow us to continue to wonder about all God has prepared for us. Oh, Jesus, thank you so much for showing your disciples like a little bit of what heaven looks like. God, we're so excited to see what you have created and what you've prepared for us. God, I ask that you would keep us curious and wondering about what heaven is, what it will be like, what we'll see there, God. I ask that you would just continue to help us Go after you and what you have for us. I love you so much, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen, you guys. Let's keep on being excited and worship together.